Okay, if you've been following along with the last two videos, then you should have some eggs hollowed out and all the supplies needed to start writing Pisanki. Um, quick review of the three main tools you're going to need to procure to do this. Um, there's the there's the kist cut or plural kist key. These are the styluses that you that you're meant to draw with, write with. Um, you can find them online or in usually any local art supply store that does seasonal things. And they come in, the reason they're different sizes and colors is because they have a finer gauge of line when you write with them. They either do a very fine line, a medium line, or heavy line. So that's the most specialized item. Uh, then there's the beeswax, which is what you run through the Kiska to write with. Um, naturally beeswax is this color, but when it melts it turns translucent, so you can get it darkened, or you can just get a knob of this and a little knob of shoe polish, put it in a coffee can, and just melt it together on the stove, and pour it into a little wax paper mold, solidify it, and voila, it'll look like this. And next of all, dye. The kind of dye that if you've ever used the Paz brand Easter egg kits, uh, it's the same kind of dye. It comes in packets and you mix it with boiling water and a little bit of vinegar, like a teaspoon of vinegar. Tablespoon, teaspoon, whatever it should say. It should say on the packet. And you store it in a mason jar at least at least 200 milliliters, maybe more because, you know, when you put the egg in and you push it down, the liquid will displace and, you know, flow everywhere, so maybe a bigger jar because you want at least this much dye to work with. First, start out by making sure your hands are nice and clean. Use hand sanitizer because it'll, it'll dry up the oils on the surface of your fingertips. <laughs> And you've got your eggs blown out off the drying rack. Um, so they've got this hole, and you want to seal that up first with a little bit of beeswax. Because if the dye gets inside the egg, it'll, uh, it'll, it'll kind of like roll around and leak out sometimes through the pores in the egg. So it'll ruin your design. So how you do that... Here's where magic comes. Take a medium or large grade kistka. So the kistka, once again, is a stick with a little brass funnel on the end. The brass funnel is heated in the candle flame. Okay. And then you take beeswax. Doesn't matter what color this one is necessarily. This. And then you scoop the wax, it just sort of see it goes through like butter. Yeah, and you'll want to have a workspace like I've got set up right here. Um, not necessarily elevated, that's for the for the camera's sake. But just put down like a cardboard lid of some sort, work over a shoebox and newspaper, because there's gonna be bits of wax and drips of dye everywhere. It's gonna be a big glorious mess. So there we go, that kiski is loaded with molten beeswax. And you take the egg you want to seal up. Alright, that's the first step. That's uh, basically how the Kiska works. So we'll start with a basic pattern. Uh, this one's called windmills, I think, usually. 
it's a simple, cute little pattern that just has like lines, spirals, and dots. And you're going to want to start out by mapping out your egg like uh, like with a grid, but in 3D, you know, so like the lines of map you see on a globe, like the lines of longitude, latitude, to divide the surface up evenly to make sure your pattern's symmetrical. If you can't draw straight lines on an egg unaided, you can use a hair tie. It should fit right over it. Like that. There we go, that's more or less at the equator. This is actually hard for me because I usually do this freehand. <laughs> Like that. Mapped out basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now subdivide each one, each uh, each little triangle into three smaller triangles. extend the lines you've drawn from the center with a spiral on each end. So here's the tricky part that um, about explaining Pisanki is that uh, you start with the lightest color and then you dip in progressively darker dyes <coughs> as you build the design. So start with white or off-white eggshell and lay down the lines you want to stay white using medium, medium-sized Kiska. It's the best all-purpose Kiska.
So here's some nice scarlet dye, one of the traditional colors. You can use a Q-tip if you only want to put some color on sections of an egg. Let's see here, 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 and here. And why would you want to do that? Because when you're building up the design through various colors of dye, um, you know, some of the dyes are, are contrasting colors. I mean, if you, if you mix them, they come out kind of muddy, brown or gray. Uh, and if you want to keep a nice crisp contrast between all the colors you're working with, you can just use a Q-tip to apply it selectively to different sections of the egg. So let me sit for a second there, like little, little drops of blood. Soak off. And just dab them off the tissue. Oh, I'm totally gonna get dye in my hands doing all this, by the way. Um, and I don't care, but if you have a day job, you might want to wear like wear protection, wear rubber gloves, finger cots, whatever. Fill that kiska. And just cover up the bits that you have dyed. Alright, the next color to use, uh, 